Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play. Double Dragon 3, the Rosetta Stone for the Arcade. Now I know there was a Double Dragon 3 for the NES, and I did do the first two Double Dragons on the NES. But that one is not very easy to play because you only have one life. Double Dragon 3. And I respect my own sanity, so obviously we'll be playing the arcade version instead. Mission 1, America. America. Okay, so it has, like I said, it's been a long time since I even played a Double Dragon game on YouTube. In fact, probably just as long that I played a Double Dragon game at all. Oh, I can... Oh my god, this voice acting. You can get a lot of extra men, why not? I feel like the frame rate, or at least the um, movement frames, is kind of awkward. But you know, it was an arcade game in, in 1990, so of course it wasn't gonna look top notch. Like I feel like arcade beat 'em ups definitely hit their stride in like the early 90s. Hello. Nice. <laughs> I can do it like a drop kick. Yeah, just do a little front flip, I'll nearly snap your neck. It almost looks like I'm trying to do a blockbuster wrestling move. Yeah, <laughs> back suplex, damn. Guess I gotta go inside, huh? Now, I've never beat this arcade game before, but I did test it out to see if it actually works in RetroArch, and thankfully it does. I guess I just have to use the drop, the, the kick to actually knock him off the bike. Because he can't punch in midair, you can only kick in midair. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. That, that's the double dragon I know and love of being knocked down as soon as I get up. How could I possibly forget? Take out that big ass biker over there. He also looks like a wrestler. Got him. The first stone is in China. Your battle is waiting for you, double dragons. Uh, it's only me here. Jimmy's at home. To China. Oh, here's a shop. What would you like? Only me to fight trick with any attack power. Attack any with the trick. Thank you. Attack trick with any attack power. Uh, I'll save my coin. Oh, they're wasting no time going after me. I guess I can just keep going to the right, because that seems to be... Whoa. Double tap forward to dash. Let's see y'all catch me now! Damn, Kano put on some weight. All right, I'll, I'll just beat up some random people near the Great Wall. I'm sure that won't cause a scene. Wow. Oh, for some reason my dash didn't work. Honestly, kick is much better than punch in this case. Mm. You 
though punches obviously are faster. You have to kill me before you touch the stone. Alright, Liu Kang. Let's go. Who's the best? Haha, <laughs> he falls down in T-pose. Oh no, I'm down. I have zero. Rony! Oh, he's got a Hurricane Rana! That boss is like, I'm gonna beat a mofo with another mofo. Are you kidding me? God, as soon as I get up, I get knocked down. Without fail. I'm trying to beat this beat up this guy's hired help so he can't throw them anymore. But he's got nunchucks too. Oh my god, they can intercept my jump kick. Wow! The second! The second I got up! Oh my god, what the hell? Say me? Sure. I guess you do have like multiple playable characters. That's cool. Oh, you don't need that anymore. It's like my Tonfa! I had to find the first stone, the heroes went to find the second. I thought it was nunchucks, it was actually the Tonfa. Mission 3, Japan. Japan. Wow, what a... That's a great welcoming committee. They're just armed with swords! It's like, we don't know who you are, but we want to cut you off. Oh, because I died, I had to lose my power-ups and energy. Oh god, my jump kick looks so awkward. Are you kidding me? More sword guys? Oh god, now there's like shinobi traps. Oh, I thought I could actually get my kick off in time. Nice back suplex. So I have that too, huh? Why does it look like Johnny Sins throwing, like, getting ready to throw down with a katana? I would actually encourage you all not to Google Johnny Sins if you actually don't know who he is. And now I pretty much did the Streisand effect. You're all gonna look him up now. Yeah, that's right, you stay down. Uh-oh. <laughs> Speaking of Shinobi, gotta take on a Ninja Master. Why would I need to use Punch if I can just kick the whole time? It doesn't seem to have an answer to kicks. Of his own kicks. Oh, God. It does have an answer. Illusion magic. Or Ninpo, rather. Oh, time to be Billy again. And time to get hit, you know, right away.
I get knocked down, but I get up again. It was made for this game. Imagine actually playing this. You know, like, with actual quarters. And seeing your character get knocked up. One second... Or, not knocked up. Knocked down! After one second... On the floor. That would be disheartening. To watch all your change go down into the machine. But people definitely did it back in the day. And there were some people that were really good at this. Wait, how the hell did I stay up? Do any of the uh, illusions go away? Okay, I guess I just had to kill the main one. I know it! You are real strong. I have the stone. From now, you will need my help. Mission 4, Italy. What the hell? I don't remember this in Italy. Like, everyone's just a Conan. But with a bow instead of a sword. But uses the bow like a sword. <laughs> he almost hit me like his right his pants were ready to fall down. What the hell? Whoa, oh my god, can you imagine if he just got all my health gone in just one combo that never goes away? Is that the boss? What the hell? This guy coming out at me like he's Guan Yu and Dynasty Warriors. Why are you in Italy? Instead, he looks more dressed like a barbarian that fought the Romans. I just need to get this guy off his horse. Oh, just go? You don't fight him when he's on the horse, it seems. I think that would have been more epic, but whatever. I wonder if he uses a shield to block my combos. I didn't know how to dive in body splash. Son of a bitch. Yo, I'm just getting slaughtered here. Oh, he just blocked my kick. Just no sold it. Oh yeah, I do one kick and his attack takes precedent. Of course. I remember this whole like getting up, getting up, just get knocked down completely right away that this was an issue in this in double dragon 4 which is for the snes well it was called super double dragon because every you know during the snes game or snes day almost every game needed to have super in the front oh he's just juking me now Just 
showing me off. I don't like that. I think those were when I stopped playing back then, because I just... I knew if it was actually working. Yeah, now you know how it feels. I was trying to... I to go for a suplex, and I was just panicking. Mission 5. Egypt. Wow, that was a great way to start. Think fast. <laughs> Whoa. This is the weird part of Egypt, huh? But there's pretty much a swamp. This is like the Forbidden Woods in Bloodborne. there's like less snake people and actual Egyptian ruins oh my god it just melts into like a tree that's not weird at all. I mean, wood armor with like whips for arms? Egypt is not the first place that comes to mind when it comes to that. Just saying. Like, I don't remember something like this in Egyptian mythology. I played Assassin's Creed Origins. You know, basically Egyptian Witcher 3. Don't make that grunt every time, too. There's more? Damn, I... I did not measure up to that kick very well. more do I have to face? This door will never open without the three Rosetta Stones. There's a secret hidden beneath here. Go! Find out what it is. That's the wrong here, but okay. So I gotta go look for a secret, huh? I could have just gone in here. Oh, watch out for those hands. What the hell? Beyblade? All while I'm fighting this guy. It's just the fourth boss again. Only this time I have a damn frisbee that's on my ready to hunt my face down. And I suppose every other part of my body that it comes in contact with first. Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't even get a hit on that enemy at that time. 
Can I just go through the door and ignore him? No. Why would I even think that would work? No, that's not the Billy Lee way. No, the Billy Lee way is dying several times to just respawning. And to do it all again. Not doing things the smart way. Which is like maybe lure this guy to the other room and maybe the frisbee won't chase you. Especially when it's moving, it can be so erratic. Also, is it just me? It doesn't seem like every single time you get hit by anything. Like, maybe like 75% of the things that hit you knock you down. It looked like I tried to suplex nothing. What was that all about? Okay, we both died. That was funny. I got the laugh, though. To open the door, step on the blocks. What? I did it right, though. What the hell?! Um, I'm doing it though. Am I supposed to like go fast? No. Oh, shoot. Went too far. Excuse me. Oh, the hit detection on this is kind of awkward. It said I only stepped on one! Oh, because I probably stepped off too fast. There we go. Gee, they didn't even try with that one. Gee, I wonder what I got a spell! I wonder if this is where Banjo-Kazooie got that idea for Treasure Trove Cove. In the sandcastle. Now there's just a bunch of, like, rock warriors constantly throwing hard knuckles at me. This must be the last level, then. Because it's not just go from one side of the area to the other and just beat up people. And sometimes it's just barely even people. Now it's just anything. Like, screw it. It don't have to make sense. It just has to be something that gives us money. And it works, so... Why does it look like these, uh, rock monsters have belly buttons? Kind of go upward. And they seem to wince whenever you hit them. That's so weird. I'm impressed. You really have strength. Why is he attacking me? It's like, I want you to get the Rosetta Stone so I can have it for myself. Even though it wasn't directly implied here. Whoa! That was... Just throwing energy balls. Yeah, 
Y'all, can just one of these, like, minions just die? One of them is really uh, outstanding. They're welcome. Yeah, I suppose the other one is too. Oh god. They're just gonna keep coming back. Or maybe not. Maybe it's only three you gotta face. And even then, you may not have to beat them all. I feel like this is the final boss. Yeah, just keep getting up so I can knock you down again. He got away! My, my treasure! I just found a random mummy! Yeah, sure! Where's Brendan Fraser when you need him? Other than living his best life. This does not sound like music you hear when you're fighting a mummy. It sounds like m music you hear when you're fighting a clown. Facing like Tootin' Clownin'. It's like he just grabs your head and just goes, oh yo, just go down. You kick me in the balls, how dare you? I'll slap you! Yeah, you can... You can just get like maybe one hit and barely even that. Is this how we're gonna do this? He just keeps doing it repeatedly! What the frick? Whoa! I just stabbed me over there. I kicked him so hard in the balls that I felt it. Oh, now I can't get the rhythm for that good combo. He just grabs you midair. So don't bother with jump kicks. I mean, don't bother with a lot of things, because you'll probably just get hit no matter what. Yeet! That's not like he snapped my neck! Slap! Huh! I didn't play the NES one. Well, to be fair, I think the NES one was pretty different. Are you freaking kidding me? How is this still going? Oh yeah, I just got out. I was like, yeah, slap. Take a while, I'm sorry. Like the fact that he grabbed me or hit me, like the very second I spawned and it actually did do damage to me. I guess to show how like tough these games back in the day were. Especially if they just wanna munch your money. Ooh. 
See? He did it again. And he just waits there. So you can't just, like, wait for him to go, oh, I'll just walk over here. That's not how it works. Y'all, mm. you really ain't shit. Okay, that time the jump kick actually worked. It's over. Oh, what the hell? Hello, uh... Cleopatra like not Cleopatra. It's like, what if I was Cleopatra, but I also have the Force? And a fireball that does insane amounts of damage. That I just shoot out of my coochie. I know I can actually hit her that way. Oh god, if it gets you on the ground, that's a lot of damage. It's like you have to be in the air when she's ready to use the force pull. And even then, you gotta deal with the other attack. Oh my god, she used it four times in a row? What the fuck? This is getting kind of ridiculous. Could I stand to her side and somehow avoid it? I guess I could do that. Oh! Now she get naked. The battle has ended! And... The heroes swore they would give Cleopatra's treasure to charity. It's like, here, we will donate to these charitable organizations from a dead woman. When the third stone is found, its power will change the world. And that's it! That's a uh, double dragon and the Rosetta Stones for the arcade. Alright, so what did you guys think about that beat em up? I thought it was okay, but it was like, imagine playing this for real money. Then it would stop being okay. Because it just munched a lot of my quarters. Like, what were, like, the average credits? Like, probably 25 cents, 50 cents? Like, I even know, like, now, like, some arcade games only take a dollar. So maybe this one only took a quarter. But that's a lot of quarters, still. Around the time that the dollar was, like, stronger. And inflation wasn't a thing, but anyway. So this is the Bonga signing off saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I shall see you next time.